Hey everyone, Apocalypse Hub here. I wanted to show you guys some of the lighting options that we have around the house. Uh, these are basically kept in a bin in one of our closets. Uh, it's a centralized location where we keep a couple of bins uh, for emergency supplies. So anyway, moving right along, I've got a couple of headlamps here. If you don't have it, have this in your uh, emergency kit yet, I uh, highly rec recommend picking up a couple um, just because it's basically it provides you a hands-free approach uh, for illumination. This one is slightly larger than the other one. Uh, it's slightly brighter too, but it only has one setting. It's got that, you know, uh, regular beam, but it's, it is very bright. Although I prefer this one myself. It uh, basically works the same way. It's got two settings. The steady beam and the strobe. And both of them are adjustable in angles. So highly, highly recommended. I'm probably going to pick up a couple more of those. Uh, moving on to flashlights. These are just some of the stuff we have. Uh, I have several of these. I keep one in my my bag actually in my EDC, and I I keep one in the night on the nightstand. I like these little guys because they're a they're cheap, b they're actually very very durable. The casing is durable, uh, and they're very bright. This one is just one of those things that came paired up with this lamp. Uh, I was actually just looking for the lamp, but I mean, it came with a flashlight. You can't really beat that. And it is, again, very bright LED. And then this one, we just picked this up a couple of weeks back. I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, it's supposed to be water resistant. Uh, it looks to be uh, made of a very durable casing again. And of course, LED. So I'll probably have to do a little mini review of this to, to let you guys know how it holds up. So put that aside. I'm going to move on to the lanterns. Probably going to start with the smallest one. Now this one only has one setting. You, got, you just have that on button, on switch. This is good to have because um, it's a tiny size. Probably, if you have kids, this is probably a good one just because of the colors. It comes in various bright colors, so it's it's more for them. But it's it's just cool to have. I always keep one of these, um, like in a in the kitchen or you know just in the main hallway or whatever, just in case. Uh, it's probably good for camping too, to be quite honest, because it's small. Seems to be just the right size. And this is the medium size one. Again, this one only has that one setting. You turn it on, that's basically it. It came with that flashlight that I just showed you a couple minutes ago. Uh, this one's my favorite. Although it's bulky, thing thing with this is it's adjustable. The brightness, you can change it from dim to that. So it's kind of nice. Probably the only thing that I don't like about these, well, any of the ones we have right now, they're all battery operated. So they're only as good as the amount of batteries you keep in the house, which you know, we keep a lot. But I like to have something that that you can crank. Uh, we did have a couple of those, but the ones we picked up are. It ended up being flimsy, and the the cr the actual crank of it um, kind of snapped off after a while. Uh, so I need to kind of do some product research on that, see if there's anything available in the market right now that is more durable. Um, but aside from that, it's a nice little collection of lighting options, uh, especially in the city. Uh, very low cost. 
I suggest kind of diversifying your equipment. I wouldn't just stick with one kind of flashlight. I wouldn't just stick with just lanterns. Um, we have tons of candles too, but the thing with that is it poses a a fire hazard, obviously, especially if you have you know children in the house. You have pets that can knock things you know off uh, off the tables and such. Uh, so I prefer these kind of light lighting methods. Um, I'm actually going to show you guys how bright these things are. I'm going to turn the light off real quick. Alright, I turned off all the lights in the living room. And just to show you how bright each one is, I turned everything on. Uh, maximum capacity for the middle one. Um, the only light that's on right now is from the TV, which uh, it's it's not really casting such a bright glow. Uh, let me turn this off. And then this one off. And the middle one, which is my favorite, it's still it's still really super bright. So there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching.